Hello, Oid11, the practitioner here. Um, I hope if uh, I hope you won't mind if I drop in a point of view from someone who has Asperger's syndrome and is kind of a little bit outside the social norms. But you know, um, I actually approve. I actually was uh, wholehearted for your naked vlog campaign, but for maybe slightly different reasons than the concept of nudity is not inherently sexual. I agree with you that North American culture, both Canadian and American, is highly obsessed with sex. But maybe that's not a bad thing. But maybe it's, uh, or maybe let me put it this way. Maybe obsession with sex is not a bad thing, but they're obsessed in the wrong way. Um, I'm an agnostic and I'm an agnostic myself, um, leaning towards atheism. But that being aside, um, I'm just saying that ahead so this way there's no ad hominem attacks or what have you on this video like there was on the previous ones I did to other people. But bottom line is that I think that there actually is a problem in our society because of the fact that we view sexuality as problematic. And I I would like to think that that stems from religion. You know, just call it me, but you know. But I think that there, you know, despite the fact that we're supposed to be in the 20th century in an age of equality and, and new open-mindedness about sex and all this sort of thing, despite the fact that we claim all this, we are still, you know, it's a lot more subtle, but we're still as prudish in our culture as we were Three, four thousand years ago, when they first, when they first uh, demanded that uh, women be subservient to men, and uh, even uh, maybe one thousand years ago or less, when women were all told to cover up under some uh, Christian excuse of a, uh, you know, under some Christian excuse of uh, women being harlots and uh, and uh, uh, leading to the depravity of Rome or something like some other weird crap like that. Okay, for other viewers of mine who are wanting to know if this is like a rant, um, this is a rant. So, but anyway, um, bottom line. Uh, I would like to um, suggest that maybe actually naked vlogging is not a bad thing. But um, I would actually disagree with you on one small bit. Nudity, you're right, is not, highly, is not inherently sexual. But at the same time, I think that if that, is, if that is the case, that nudity is not a problem, and there is no moral question with nudity, matter of fact, there shouldn't be uh, any questioning uh, issues about uh, you know about about sex in public or anything like that either. I mean privacy, um, having the you know the forcing of having to wear clothes, uh, taboos around sex. Most of that's purely on an emotional basis and highly illogical. I mean, granted, certain very early formats may have been you know to uh, adapt to warmer weather. Uh, in certain rare cases, to cover over uh, parts because we didn't have hair to protect them. But consider the fact that chimps. Um, you know, chimps will do that sort of thing in public all the time. I mean, yes, there are some who do it private, but, you know, the point is that it's an emotional preference. There is no real logical basis for it, and our society doesn't really have a need for um, demanding... Um, and our societal... It doesn't really have a, a, a need for, you know, demanding uh, clothing or stuff like that. I'd also like to reply to another aspect you said, that you thought that you had more things to say and not just a naked body. I would agree with that, but I'd like to suggest something. A another prototype program which came out recently was um, was one which I actually um, really enjoyed. It was called Naked News, and I actually uh, quoted from it a couple of times in relation to uh, one of my video blogs on a particular. Um, uh, I think it was on the oil crisis or something like that, and where I was talking about economics versus science. But anyway, um, I watched that news program. But what's interesting is the fact that um, during the news program. The anchor woman who was uh, doing the talking or what have you would strip naked. She would do a strip tease act. She would do a stripping act while she was talking about the news. Now the thing is that you know probably for a lot of guys this would be a um, uh, you know for for most guys this would probably be a distraction at first and then eventually they'd get desensitized to the nudity. In my case, I used it for both. It's both a good source of uh, it's both a good source of nudity for sexual fantasies, and secondly, it also got me some very uh, educational news which I needed in a couple of spots. Why not do something similar? You have stuff to say, but you are also a sexual person. So why can there not be both? Intelligence, which is um, a bet, which is uh, almost unique to our species, our our level of intelligence is unique to our species, and should be seen as a uh, and should be uh, you know intelligence coupled with everything else should be seen as a sexual advantage. Um, sorry, rephrase that. Intelligence combined with creativity, uh, uh, combined with creativity and uh, drive to a con and drive to excel should be uh, um, should be seen as sexual benefits. Therefore, might it not be a good idea to um, uh, and if pe if you're wondering why people would be asking you to show more, yes, they are thinking sexually. But for people who are um, 
you know, for people who are actually interested in the survival of the species, i.e. the human race, they should be able to view you both as a, sex, as a sexual body, meaning you should actually be able to show more, and as well, they should be able to view your intelligence as sexy. So, I believe obsession with sex is a good thing because of the fact that we can finally free ourselves of these taboos that have been uh, holding back our culture uh, for several, you know, the one, uh, one last uh, format of illogic that we can finally remove from our society. Um, and it's not just that. I'm talking about, like, practically everything related to sex needs a complete overhaul. But that being said, um, that's the first thing I think we need to deal with. And the second of which is that I think we can actually start taking a better look at intelligence. And yes, we can view women as equals, but we can also show men um, uh, not wearing clothes. For a, a lot of the time, I have actually not worn my shirt. Uh, or I've only been in my underwear when I've done uh, blogs on a particular subject. Why do I do this? For the simple reason that I don't have any qualms about sexual morality. I don't have any qualms about um, uh, beyond you know beyond barring hurting people. I don't have any qualms about um, you know about about uh, taboos of clothing or what have you. Um, for the most part, because I genuinely I, I'm waking up first thing in the morning. I'm doing a video blog on something which is a, a worthwhile topic to talk about, and I completely forget to put on a shirt. Um, in one or two cases, which were actually religious videos trying to talk about evolution, I deliberately didn't wear my shirt in the middle of the day because of the fact that I was trying to show that I was pro-evolution uh, and not the... Uh, I was trying to demonstrate that I was pro-evolution. Um, so, anyway, uh, you know, that was a, the deliberate instance. But, you know, there should not be an issue about that. I, I mean, like, people used to keep... Uh, people have made fun of me for not wearing my shirt. People have tried to debunk my arguments for not wearing my shirt. Um, you know, it's, that's a side note. Point being... You know, you did a naked vlog to try to get attention to your um, posts or what have you, and you do have a lot of good stuff to say. Why not combine both? You know, if people are logically interested in what you have to say, and especially if you actually showed, if you showed yourself as totally naked, uh, you know, for even, you know, even, even, even in a pose which is not revealing or, you know, to your own, uh, to your own uh, liking, but consider the, consider the fact that if you did that with showing more, and did it while you were talking about other stuff, you might be able to desensitize people to the nudity. I mean, um, you, you've only shown the naked vlog once. People need a deconditioning. People need to, uh, to have nudity associated with something else because they have been conditioned to associate nudity with sex. And even if, uh, and even if we associate uh, nudity with sex or what have you, uh, okay, fine. Uh, even, you know, maybe that association is not a bad thing, but let me put it this way. Maybe we should associate sex with intelligence. Here's, a, uh, here's something I'd like you to try, just purely as an experiment. And I'm actually going to try to do something similar, um, not on a YouTube video. I'll be doing this on Blog TV, so that's why I don't get banned off here. But just try this for an experiment and put a link uh, to your, uh, on one of your other videos to this. Try not only being naked, but masturbating. Try masturbating on camera, you know, or doing something sexual. Well, maybe, you know with whatever your comfort zone, but try doing something, you know, being totally naked, sexual, and showing it on camera, and simultaneously talking about an important issue, or talking about something which, uh, you know, talking about something else which you do have to offer, like, you know, some intelligence. And do this for a repeated set of videos, and see if you can actually start getting some comments from people, which actually start, uh, you know, I will bet you, dollars to donuts, that about after about the fourth or fifth video of doing this, you will actually start to see people going back to your original videos, uh, to the even to the first video of the, that set of videos, and actually commenting on you know like saying um, you know besides all the sexual stuff, you will start to get comments maybe after a couple of days of people saying you know I liked what you had to say on this 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 because of the fact that they've gotten used to the concept of associating sex with what you're saying. You know what I mean? Um, now of course I've already made this assumption anyway because uh, having Asperger's syndrome I don't really have a connection between the you know. I don't really have a uh, you know a propriety issue about um, you know about the nudity or what have you, but or or sex in general. But that being said, I mean even our uncomfort about showing sex in public is a different kettle of fish. But like I said, if, you know if 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 there if if there if we're worried about pornography in our culture or stuff like that, why not try associating pornography with uh, with something intelligent? Just just for the hell of it, um, you know I'm going to be trying a similar experiment on Blog TV. Um, for people who are interested, I will be posting that Blog TV uh, session actually now. Um, as I'm uh, well, actually, um, at 7.23 p.m. tonight, and I'll be doing this over the next few days, I'll be attempting to demonstrate, um, I'll be uh, showing myself completely naked and talking about some pivotal issue. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I want to see what people's responses are. Um, people come back to linking on this video. Um, if you see the episodes on Blog TV, come to this video here and, um, uh, you know, post it, uh, post your comments, take it for what you will. And, uh, Oi Glavin, I would recommend you try doing something similar. 
see what people's responses are. Who knows? Maybe it might be, there might be some improvement. Toodles.